guys, it's your curious and awkward friend Quasi. In today's video, I'm going to take you to Soho. Okay, maybe you can really realize because it was so hard to find a quiet spot in this lively neighborhood of London. It offers so much entertainment, interesting food, diverse fun things to do and of course not to forget the nightlife. And in this video I'm going to show you and tell you everything that you need to know about Soho. Come with me! If you want to see more fun and informative content from London or also travel related videos, don't forget to like and subscribe, it really helps me out. And guys, stay tuned until the end of this video because I'm going to give you some brief history of this area, where exactly it is located, how can you get there, what are the best things to do, where can you eat on a budget, which are my personal favorite restaurants and some useful tips if you are again on a budget or if you're visiting the area for the first time. And let me give you a little bit of history on the Soho area. The area has been developed by Henry VIII in 1536 when it became a royal park and later in the 17th century buildings started being developed for the upper class and this is also when the Soho Square was built. Unfortunately, this area was very badly hit by the outbreak of the cholera and in the mid 19th century most of the aristocracy have moved away. And this also led to Soho becoming a base for the sex industry in the 20th century in addition to its nightlife. Okay, okay, stop boring me with this history already. Just tell me, how can I go to Soho? It is situated in the heart of London West End and uh, you can get to Soho from a number of different tube stations like Oxford Circus, Tottenham Court Road, Piccadilly Circus, Covent Garden, Leicester Square, Sharing Cross or Embankment. And let's see what are the best things that you can do in Soho, starting from shopping. Some of London's most interesting boutiques can be found along Berwick Street, which is also home to one of London's oldest markets. But if you prefer more of first-class shopping, uh, for fashion or electronics, you can go to Oxford Street or Regent Street, but I also have to warn you that at the moment, uh, due to the restrictions, they don't let a lot of people inside the store, which also leads to having humongous queues. And sometimes for stores like TK Maxx, you can wait up to one hour to get in, Ouch. so think twice before going there. Oh, and you guys, oh my god, I was about to forget. You can, of course, go to Liberty, which is a Tudor revival building. And inside, it's super high-end fashion, very bougie. And it has also luxury homeware with its own fabric lines. And did I say fashion? And you guys, I'm getting slightly hungry. So let's go and have some something cheap and delicious to eat. I will share with you my top three favorite places to eat in Soho. And we are starting off with an amazing Neapolitan style pizza at Pizza Pilgrims. And you might have already heard of this place because they have multiple locations in London and also one in Oxford. And as you see, Ben is eating his pizza in a very interesting way. And if you want to know how to eat pizza as an Italian, I made a whole video about it, which will be linked here on the right. And you guys, let me know if you enjoyed our video from Soho and which area of London should we explore next. And don't forget to subscribe. Pizza was really good. Uh, you probably heard me shouting, you know, Mamma mia, the Mr. Napoli. Before it costed like seven, a little bit less than seven pounds. So it's like one pound increase, which I mean, it's not great, but it was, Inflation. Still, was still delicious. So I would rate it like 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, recommend. Them. This place is called Bao. They make steamed buns and also contemporary dishes from Taiwan. You guys, we just ordered the Bao and I realized that it's very, very small. So I don't know, it hurts a little bit. Taste test time of the, bao, of the Bao. Oh my God, it's so big. I went there a couple of years ago with a friend of mine. Prices were lower and I swear to God, the Bao is bigger. I thought this would be a great cheap eat in London. It turned out... Yeah, it's really small. It is How much this was it? big. This was 5.50. Basically, it's, big. it's like as big as the receipt. <laughs> I think the receipt is bigger. A 
bit spicy. Uh -huh. Ooh, very spicy. Uh -huh. And I have to say, this was the only veggie one. It's kind of a croquette, potato croquette, I would say. And on top there is uh, some chili tomato and I think radish. So not worth it, so not worth it. And let me explain. Guys, I actually wanted to take you to Imad Syrian's kitchen because the food is delicious, prices are a lot lower. And also, you're not only eating delicious food, but you're also supporting a great cause because he regularly cooks for refugees and also with the money raised, he also helps hospitals back in Syria. And you guys, if you have been following me from a while, you would know how much I love and care about my coffee. So my next place that I want to share with you is the Algerian Coffee Store. They opened in 1887 and for 134 years, they have become the one of the world's best known and also leading suppliers of both tea and coffee. And also one of the very, very few, if not the only one place in central London where you can have an espresso just for one pound. And behind me there is Rosa, the Thai restaurant, which is one of my favorite Thai restaurants in London. And also on the other side we have the French house, which uh, Londoners love so much that during COVID, when this restaurant was having financial issues, uh, Londoners raised 80k just to keep the, this place open. Oh. This is how significant it is to the city. And let's continue with entertainment. Uh, even though I think all these pubs and restaurants were already entertaining enough, but if you want something more cultural, like a musical or go to the theater, you can also do this here in Soho. There are many very well-known performances which you can enjoy at the theaters of Soho. For example, you can check out Harry Potter at the Palace Theatre on Cambridge Circus or also the long-running show Les Miserables. My accent in French is great, right? Or also you can watch Mary Poppins at the Prince Edward Theatre. Just a tip for you guys, if you want to get theatre tickets on huge discount, you should definitely check out today's sticks. And as I told you, Soho is the hotspot for LGBT community with a big concentration of lesbian and gay clubs. And also, did you know that every year the Pride in London is celebrated in Soho? And here are some useful tips for you when visiting Soho. Well, guys, uh, once you're in there, you can easily go to the Buckingham Palace, Green Park or Big Ben and House of Parliament because they're in like maximum 35 minutes walk, but you will save some bucks from the public transport, which let's be honest, it's not really cheap here. Guys, you can enter into a bar or a club before 9 p.m. and you will avoid any type of uh, charges that and fees that otherwise you would pay if you go later during the evening. Love you all! Bye! I will see you in this next video about Chinatown and don't forget to hit the like button so we can spread it around more people and they can learn the secrets of Soho.